Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Yes, it's the Optional Sports World, and my co-hosts are you all, the family. All right, we ain't going to take too much of our, your time today because this is just some bullshit. Bullshit, you hear me? We're going to be talking about Peter Thomas. Yes, Peter, Cynthia's ex-husband. The one who runs bar ones in the ground like it ain't nobody's business. Yes, that's the one I'm talking about. And happy Sunday, guys, for those who are here with me. All right, but we get this information from gossip of the city tea yes honey we have an anonymous person posted to social media and i'm assuming gossip of the of the city tea picked it up hell i would have picked it up too because it was worthy of being talked about because peter thomas always say he got his shit on lockdown and nene leaks need to bail him out because she just found herself into some money after Greg died, right, she's taking Naomi on all these different trips, Las Vegas, uh, Acre, Africa, and uh, France, Italy. You know, she was doing all those things. She needed to help Peter out because Peter helped her get to Naomi. That's her boyfriend from what I hear, but she's keeping it on Lolo because um, Na- Naomi's wife is suing Nene for taking up with her husband, okay? Make it make sense. I cannot at this time. And that's not what we worried about. We're here talking about Mr. Peter Thomas. Okay. And from what gossip of the city T is referring to. He bouncing his payroll. He's bouncing his employees checks. They working. Working hard for the money. Oh, we're hard. Find the money, so you better treat her right. Yes, all right. They are working. The men, the women, the dog, the cat, whoever's up there in bar one, giving their assistance to having it run and patron the customers that come in the door. Peter is not paying his people. Okay, we got this article, like I said. Uh, let me read it to you. It says, Fees. Oh, uh, F-E-E-E, maybe it was a uh, typo with the spell corrector when we're typing on our phones, messages. It says, so my friend works at Bar One in Miami, Peter Thomas Restaurant from Real Housewives of Atlanta. They made them sign NDAs. Okay, so I'm the messenger. None disclosed, whatever it may be. And I'm like, Peter, 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 pumpkin eater. Why would you have them discuss and sign NDAs when they're working for you? Now, I can see if you're taping a show and you don't want things to get out because it needs to play out on film when we're watching a season that you may or may not be in. I'm just giving an example. We know he ain't on nobody's show. But these people are there representing bar one in a sense. Not your somewhat short part of celebrity reality fame. You know what I'm saying? Peter Thomas. Okay. And how are you going to explain when stuff get leaked? I mean, are you, what does there need to be leaked, Peter? These people are coming into your restaurant, patroning you, and you're giving them food and drinks and entertainment. Why would you need uh, NDAs passed out? Are you sleeping with somebody or a lot of people there? Are you doing something illegal? You got drugs passing through the um, facility, bar one. You laundering money. What's going on? Okay. Because you're not married to anybody. So you're like 
a free spirit. You can mess with whoever you want to on whatever given day of the week. So, but this is what they're saying. You had your employees disclose. I mean, celebrities go in and everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Hell, I met a few on uh, one when I was working at Piedmont Hospital. I met a lot of them, okay? So, and we didn't have to disclose any NDAs. They have a sign that, the, of course, they said in some parts of our uh, employee agreement that we're not supposed to go up to celebrities that may have loved ones or they may be in the hospital themselves we don't need to be going up to asking them for no autographs or anything of that nature and usually the really really i guess big people said beyonce came down uh to have her baby in atlanta or whatever you know she probably would lock all the whole hospital down for the duration that she's in there or some parts of the hospital and all the people that would be prone to seeing her or probably the nurses the people have to come in uh, the nurses they to help them use the restroom stuff of that nature so and then i'm pretty sure yeah okay you have to do that if they wanted you to do that because that's privacy that's intimate that's personal but when you go into a restaurant and they know you they don't need to sign no nda clauses or family maybe it's me what y'all think about the situation him having his employees sign ndas but anyway um it said is he broke or what i'm trying to figure out why all of the employees chicks keep bouncing bouncing is the ultimate word we have here bouncing and the work group chat is a mess mind you he just reopened after being shut down for not paying miami taxes Pizza, pizza, pocket eater. Had her wife and couldn't keep her. What is going on? What is going on? You, you hiding from the IRS? And you hiding from your employees? Hoping they'll keep your mess under wraps? No, that's not how it goes. See, they tell someone. That go and tell someone else. That goes and tell the media. You see how that, it works out, Peter? You, you see how what I'm talking about? Ah, pizza, pizza, pizza. Nene, can he get some money from you? Nene, can he get some money from you, girl, since you're like the only one with fresh cash going around, allegedly? I think you need to help him out, Nene. They said birds to flock together. Oh, no. Birds of a feather flock together. And see, she hooked you up to that shabba man. <laughs> what a tangle what we we when we practice to deceive nene so you're in trouble your boy is in trouble it just seems like trouble just follow you nene so is he huh? yeah so is you or aren't you going to help your partner out i said it would be a nay it'd be a nay it'd be a nay but maybe you would come out and help him. Or maybe Naomi is telling you to help Mr. Peter come out uh, of his uh, deficit. Throw him some money. Pay his employees. But why would Nene? Let's take a look at this. Let's digest this for a minute. Nene didn't give a shit about her uh, swag boutiques. You remember? The women and the men were coming back to work the next day. And they found a padlock on the door. Did we, uh, not, did we forget about that? So, see, Peter and her have the same attributes. They have the same characteristic, characteristics of business owning. You see what I'm saying? They don't give a fuck. They don't care. As long as they're being taken care of, as long as their bills are being taken care of, they don't work. I guess they, what do they think they got? Free people to, to come and work for them because they are so-called reality stars up in Atlanta. That shit don't play out. Uh-uh, you got short, real short money. That's going on with this situation. And if I guess Greg didn't die. Nene would be in a shit show of, 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 of some some mess too. Okay. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But people need to be paid. People cannot work out there for free Nene. Peter. Get it together. Okay. Or leave it alone. Close down all these bar ones. Close down all of your one establishment Nene. The little need there. Close it down. Because if you're not going to do something for the community by uh providing jobs for these people to make your lounge and eatery joint succeed peter if you're not going to pay these people then close your shit down okay because you will not only be hit with 
the IRS, you will be hit with labor laws, okay, that these people can sue you for. You can't have them working for you for free. That's not how it is, unless you're working for free, too, and you're paying the IRS and you're paying other people that you owe, like your vendors or something like that. Then, you know, tell the people that you want them to work for free. You don't uh, need them to come on board with trying to uh, look and seek a paycheck for their livelihood. Just do it for the gram. Just do it for YouTube. Just do it because you're a sympathetic person. That shit ain't gonna fly. It didn't even sound right coming out of my mouth, okay? No. People get paid because they work. That's the theory we has we have always learned, even at earlier teenage years when we go out there trying to get our job at 16, 17, 18 to help our parents with some of the load of caring for us. Okay. 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 Okay, 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 okay. <sighs> pizza, pizza, pizza. It's just always something with you and Nene. And there's nothing, anything positive that we can uh, consecutively, consecutively say to y'all. Like you constantly do this. You constantly do this. Back and forth, back and forth. Same old shit, different day. Pay your people. Pay your people. Or shut your shit down, Peter. Okay? And if we got it wrong over here... Let us know about it, you know, because we only got it from uh, a, a newsworthy source. Okay, they've been out. They've been fairly well re with reporting accuracy. So, um, yeah, it's not looking good, Peter. And we don't want you out there, you know, taking advantage of people. So next time, next stop you need to do is to pay your people. Or we will be back on the tube trying to definitely uh nudge you a little bit okay I, I guess you can't go take out a talk, take out a loan from a business or organization such as a bank institution uh credit union uh, uh situation or institution uh so i guess you got to lean on nini's wealth newfound wealth that she had prior to her well she had after her so-called husband that she loved so much so dearly she may have some money left to lend you over, but if you ain't going to do nothing with it, but still ball off of it and not pay your employees, then it's, it's no reason. It's, it's no reason at all to borrow the money. Okay. But that's all I got for this particular video, guys. If you like it, let me go have more. Uh, yes. Mr. Peter's doing some fucked up foolishness, fuckery, fraudulent, fakery mess down in miami okay and he needs to be chastised and he needs to pay them people their money they got bills they have livelihoods themselves and they need to have their money but that's all i got i ain't got no more and i'll see you on the next video